After a spate of close calls on airport runways, the Union for Air Traffic Controllers has reached a deal with the FAA to ensure more rest time. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas has been following this issue and joins us now with some new details. Christine, Tim. the FAA says they're going to put some restrictions in place when it comes to overtime. The agency's the agency says it will limit the overtime assignments, consecutive overtime assignments, that an air traffic controller can work. The agreement also finalizes plans announced back in the spring that the FAA will require at least 10 hours off between regular shifts or 12 hours after a midnight shift. The rules are based on the findings of a special panel that we've been reporting about since December. Passengers have grown increasingly concerned with safety after a string of near disasters on airport runways. Here's the air traffic control audio for a close call at JFK last year. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff clearance. All right, and uh, whew, the Delta 1943. And the FAA says these changes are all about addressing safety. They're also working to address a staffing shortage of about 3,000 air traffic controllers. And this Sunday, the controllers union says the FAA is relocating 12 controllers from New York to Philadelphia. The FAA says the move will help staffing overall, but the union says just the opposite, hmm. Christine. Well, you know, it was just last month that you talked about those staffing issues causing delays. Right, not even last month. It was actually earlier this month or the 4th of July holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the traffic, air traffic into and out of Newark had to actually be slowed down by the FAA due to staffing concerns. The agency says that staffing related delays are rare, but they mm -hmm. do happen. We still in July? I'm sorry, yeah. I'm cute. <laughs> <I'm laughs> it's been a too. long month, hasn't right? it, Tim? It sure has, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks so much.